So what about you today? How do you view life? How are you viewing your decisions? What kind of relationship do you have with God today? I want you to go ahead and stand to your feet. So if you know the story of Samson, maybe you don't. That's all right. I'll tell you how it ends. He's grinding, he's grinding, he's blind, he's pushing, pushing the, the grinder. And all the Philistines are around mocking and laughing. Here's the once man of God who tortured us, who sent us running, but now we've got him. And here's the thing about God is he's a God of second chances. Amen? He's a God that when you call on his name, he is right there. So it's no, no matter how far you've come, no matter how many steps back and how much you've detached yourself from the things of God, all you have to do is call on his name and he is there. Amen, church? Like, like it's a God of grace and love and forgiveness. And it's no different in this story. Now, it, it ends not exactly, the, not, it definitely ends the way, not the way God had intended it, but because of Samson's bad decisions, this is the only way it can end. And in verse 30, we read, it says, Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. He's calling out to God. He's calling out to God. He asked the, the prisoner, the, the guards, where are the two pillars? So he puts his hands on the pillar. He cries out to God, let me die with the Philistines. Then he pushed with all of his might, and down came the temple on the rulers and all the people in it. Thus he killed many more when he died than when he lived. Samson called on the name of God one last time. And he was able to defeat far more Egyptians, far more Philistines in his death than when he was living. But let me tell you, to me this story says, when you call on my name, I hear you. When you call for me, I will be there. So I don't know what you need to call on God for. I don't know what decision, what situation that you find yourself in. Do you need to have a different perspective? That the perspective that you have right now in life is the wrong one. You need to move. You need to take a few steps back. Maybe you feel like, like the Lord has departed you because of the bad decisions that you've made. Are you serving Elohim, a generic God, or Yahweh, the anointed, holy God? So we're going to sing one last song and just... Allow God, allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Maybe he'll pinpoint one of those three things to you that you need to change your perspective. But let's allow the Holy Spirit to work on us and to change us and, and to bring to attention the changes that we need to make. Amen? So let's sing this last song. We'll be back to close in just a minute.